Hello everyone, this is Dr. Meher Shah once again with another video. In this video, we are going to solve one of the very important topic called as calculation of expected claim cost and finding a fair premium value under the subject risk management. In this video, we are going to learn what are the various steps in order to solve the sum and thereafter we will be taking two problem sums to check how to solve and get the answer for fair premium. So let us start first with what are the various steps in order to solve the sum. Okay now let us see how to solve the sum whereby they are asking us to find the expected claim cost and the fair premium. So first we will see those various steps in order to solve and then we will pick up two sums to solve this particular topic. So note down these steps very carefully okay. So here is given steps to solve. Number one, we need to first calculate pure premium. Now in order to calculate pure premium, the formula states that we need to get the total of all the losses into probability and if there are deduction, then it will be less deduction into the probability. If the sum has deduction, then you will have to minus the deduction. If it doesn't have, then it is only losses into the probability. Second. We need to find the present value that is PV of expected claim. The formula is pure premium that is step number one ka answer upon one plus the rate of interest. Step number three, we need to calculate underwriting cost and fair profit. Now the formula for that is the underwriting cost percent plus fair profit percent into the pure premium. Okay, that's the first answer again what you get. Step number four is expected claim processing cost which is equal to claim processing cost into the probability. One note to be noted for full coverage sum the probability will be taken as the probability of all the losses together and if there is any deductions or deductible value in the question then we will have to take the total of probability as the one remaining usually the first value. Step number five, we need to find the PV of expected claim processing cost. That, that is nothing but the expected processing claim cost upon one plus interest rate. Once we have all these five things give, uh, you know, sorted out, our final formula is fair premium is equal to underwriting cost. That is step number three plus PV, PV of expected claim. That is your step number two and PV of expected processing claim that is step number 5. Okay, So these are the 6 steps in which we will have to solve this particular sum. Any sum can be solved with the help of these 6 steps. So you all can take a screenshot of this and note down the steps. Now we will start with the very first sum in order to find the fair premium. Okay, now we'll first go through the question. It's given that we have been given loss of one lakh dollars, twenty thousand dollars, and zero loss, and with some probabilities, find the fair premium if the policy provide full coverage. So this is a full coverage sum. Underwriting cost equals to twenty percent of pure premium. Claims are paid at the end of the year. Interest rate is given as eight percent. Claim processing cost is $5,000 and fair profit is said to be 5% of pure premium. Okay, so now let us see how to solve this particular sum step wise. Now as per a step, our very first step was number one. So we write your solution. Step number one, we have to find the fair or uh, the pure premium. Okay, now pure premium. The formula was all the losses into their probability less deduction if any now in this they cannot i cannot see any deductible value because a full coverage based sum so here we'll have to calculate with the help of the losses which have been given to us so we have one lakh into the probability that is 0 0.02 plus twenty thousand, the second loss into the probability 0 0.08 Okay, now we don't have to calculate for zero because it will give the value as zero itself. So it will be one lakh. We'll take it on the calci. We have one lakh into zero point zero two, which comes to two thousand 
and then we have 20,000 into 0 0.08 which comes to 1,600 so our total pure premium ka value is 3,600 dollars that is step number one step number two we need to find the present value of expected claim the formula for that is pure premium that is 3600 upon 1 plus interest rate now interest rate is 8 percent so in point form it will become 0 0.08 so here it will become 1 plus 0 0.08 which comes to 3600 upon 1.08 now it is up to us if you want you can divide it now or we will even keep we can divide it you know at the end of the sum when we use the actual the final formula okay now so we are keeping it as it is right now and then we'll see ahead step number three we need to find the the calculation of underwriting cost and fair profit okay so I'm writing here now we need to get the total of underwriting cost plus fair profit so now here the formula was underwriting cost now here they are giving you as underwriting cost of 20 percent so that's 0 0.2 plus fair profit percent which is zero uh, is five percent so that will become 0 0.05 into pure premium now pure premium we have already found at three thousand six hundred dollars so divide into three thousand six hundred so uh, it will be 0 0.2 plus 0 0.05 that becomes 0 0.25 into three thousand six hundred so our value comes to nine hundred dollars Okay, so the value is $900. That's step number three. Step number four, we need to find the expected claim processing cost. The formula for which was the claim processing cost, which is $5,000 into the total probability now for full coverage the rule was take all the losses ka, I mean, whatever losses are given the total of their probability so we have 10 1 lakh dollars ka loss and 20 thousand dollar ka loss the total of the probability will be 0 0.02 plus 0 0.08 which comes to 0 0.10 okay so that's 0 0.02 plus 0 0.08 so that is 0 0.10 which comes to 500 dollars step number five we need to get the pv of expected claim processing cost so that is nothing but the expected value that was 500 dollars upon 1 plus the rate of interest that is 0 0.08 so that comes to 500 upon 1.08 again i'm not dividing it right now we will divide it at the last stage last question number uh, in the step number six where we need to find the fair premium so fair premium ka formula was step number three that was underwriting cost which was 900 dollars plus PV of expected claim that came to 3600 upon 1.08 plus 500 upon 1.0 that is the PV of the expected claim so this is nothing but 900 plus we add up now we'll do the LCM part of this so this become 1.08 and this will become 4100 so now we'll divide 4100 divided by 1.08 it will come up to 3796 so 900 plus 3796 our total fair premium will be 4000 in dollars so it will be 4696 dollars so this is how we had to solve the sum in order to find the fair premium when full coverage is given to us
okay i hope everyone have understood this okay you can, you can note down the step now we'll do a sum what if there are some deductions given so we'll start with now the second sum okay now look at we'll go to the question now again losses are given with the values with their probability and now the question says uh, find fair premium if the policy has a twenty thousand dollars deductible so there are some deduction in this underwriting cost is given claims are paid for the end of the year interest rate is given claim processing cost is given fair profit is given so all of the values are given the only new thing which is there in this is that deductible value so chalo, we'll start with uh, steps so we'll note down your solution step number one we need to find pure premium now pure premium was nothing but the total of all the losses into the probability now since here there's deduction so we'll even have to less the deductible value so for the first one it will be 1 lakh into 0 0.02 less now there is a deductible value of 20,000 so it will be 20,000 into 0 0.02 okay similarly we'll have for the other one which will be $20,000 into 0 0.08 minus again deductible value is $20,000 into 0 0.08 so let us see how much it comes up to. So 1 lakh into 0 0.02 was 2000 minus 20,000 into 0 0.02 is 400 that comes to 1600 now here it will be 20,000 into 0 0.08 which comes to 1600 minus again 20 so that is also 1600 so it comes to 0 so a pure premium comes to 1600 dollars step number one is done we jump to step number two step number two we need to find the PV of expected cost which is pure premium that was $1,600 upon 1 plus rate of interest of 0 0.08 so it will come to $1,600 upon 1.08 again I won't divide now we will divide at the later stage step number 3 we need to get the you know the underwriting cost plus the fair profit which is equal to underwriting cost was again 20 percent so that's 0 0.2 plus fair premium of fair profit was 0 0.05 of the premium value the pure premium which came to 1600 so that was again 1600 into 0 0.25 which comes to 400 So that's four hundred dollars. Step number four: We need to find the expected claim processing cost. Now the formula was the cost of processing, which was five thousand into the probability. Now again, this is a deductible value. Now the rule was if there is a deductible value in the question, okay, and the value was twenty thousand dollars. So we ignore the twenty thousand dollars. So we'll directly take the first value that is zero point zero two of probability. So that will be five thousand into point zero two, which comes to the value of hundred dollars. next is step number five that is we need to find the PV of expected claim processing cost that is the above value that we have found I 
upon again 1 plus the interest rate so that is nothing plus 100 upon 1.08 last step step number 6 we have fair premium fair premium is underwriting cost that is $400 plus both the PVs so it was 1600 upon 1 1.08 plus 100 upon 1.08 so that will be 400 plus 1700 upon 1 1.08 so that comes up to so 1700 divided by 1.08 it comes to 1574 so it will be 400 plus 1574 so when we add up we get a final answer as the fair premium as dollar 1974 that's the final answer of the fair premium $1,974 so these are the two variations in the sum where we had full coverage and the second one had some deductible value so these are the two sums which needs to be thoroughly solved by everyone okay so in this way we have solved some based on expected claim cost and fair premium I hope everyone have understood with that we will be ending this video